What's going on, knuckleheads? This is George with Fighters Rep, and if you like to talk about combat sports, please click the subscribe button below, join the discussion, and be a part of Knucklehead Nation. So this video here is our preview, prediction, and discussion about Austin No Doubt Trout taking on Terrell Gaucher in the 154-pound division. It's going down tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, and it's a fight I'm looking forward to. It's going to be on Fox Sports 1. Uh, and the reason I'm looking forward to this fight, Knuckleheads, is because of the circumstances surrounding this fight. And also partially because it's the only fight going on this weekend that's notable at all. It's a, it's a slow weekend for combat sports. But nonetheless, this could turn out to be an exciting fight because, again, of the circumstances. You've got two guys with an Olympic pedigree going up against each other both coming off of a loss and in desperate need for a win in order to stay relevant in the 154-pound division. Both guys are about the same stature, about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, with Gaucher having a slight height advantage from what I could see at the weigh-in. Both guys are listed with a 72-inch reach. And uh, the only discrepancy in this fight, if you ask me, is... Trout has the experience edge. Gaucher has the uh, youth on his side. And that's going to be basically the difference in this fight. I think that's going to be the determinative factor in, in deciding who wins this fight. Uh, they both have a great pedigree with Gaucher having fought in the U.S. Olympic team in 2012. And uh, Austin Trout was no slouch either. He didn't make the Olympic team. He basically fought for a spot on it and lost that spot to Von Esmartirosian. Uh, but nonetheless, he was an Olympic alternate. And, and these are both technical fighters. And that's something I appreciate as a boxing fan. At the same time, both of these guys have a dog in them. And so if, if it comes down, if push comes to shove, these dudes will slug it out as we've seen in their past fights. So that makes it all the more exciting. The desperation, the fact that they've got heart, the fact that they're both technical, and, uh, you know, it's going to, I think it's going to be a very exciting fight tomorrow. Now, as far as a prediction goes, I've got to go with Austin, no doubt, Trout. And the reason I got to go with Austin Trout is because I believe he has just too much of an experience edge over Gaucher. And the reason I believe that is because he's been in there with the likes of Canelo Alvarez. Uh, the two uh, Charlo brothers, he's been in there with Jared Hurd, and he, and he even beat Miguel Cotto to win a title back in the day. Whereas Gaucher's only really been in there with Arislandi Lara, who's absolutely no joke, but compared to uh, the resume that I just read off to you, which is, you know, a who's who in the 54-pound division and beyond, uh, I think... Austin, no doubt, Trout has just too much of an experience edge over Gaucher for Gaucher to pull this off. Now, that's not to say that Gaucher can't win this fight. He does have youth on his side. He's not as shop-worn. And uh, I do think uh, he definitely has a chance to win this fight. But gun to my head, I got to go with Austin, no doubt, Trout. And so, you know, tell me what you guys think. I'm going to turn it over to you now. Who do you think wins this fight? Why do you think they win this fight? Uh, are these guys ever going to be anything more than just Kate keepers in the division? Uh, Austin Trout obviously won a title way back when, but can he still make that final run? Tell me what you think, knuckleheads. Please click below. Please donate to the channel, uh, even if it's just a little bit. It's much appreciated. Get you some Fighters Rep gear. Be sure to tune in July 27th for Fighters Rep 7 Fighting Prides to watch right here live on the channel, some of the best young kickboxing talent in the world.